Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you a few fragrances that I've worn over the past couple of weeks. It's been a little bit of a crazy couple of weeks, so I thought I'd share with you kind of the highlights. Yay! Before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And let's get into this. So I have three that I want to share with you right off the bat. Now, my sister's uh, sister, Coralie, you met her. She was on the channel not too long ago, uh, her eldest son got married. So I was really excited uh, to celebrate with the family. Had an amazing time. Um, it was one of the most fun weddings I've ever been to. So it was a country wedding. So at one point, there was like guys spinning their wheels and like making smoke everywhere. And my son just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Anyway, big, huge trucks, but the most fun was the dancing. And I just went out there and uh, tore it up, man. Me, my sisters, uh, and my sister's best friend, we were all out there dancing up a storm uh, with all the young ones. And it was so much fun. Like it was so fun. Like at one point it was like, we're going to party. It's your birthday. Like all those kind of songs. So it was so fun. And we're like doing this business. And one person would go into the center. And then another one would come out. And someone would go in. It was crazy. It was craziness. But so much fun. So the only problem was that I'm so out of shape. That uh, by the end I could barely walk. I'm like... Uh, uh, but I danced till I couldn't dance anymore, literally. And I paid for it the next day because I was so stiff, but boy, was it ever fun. So I wanted to share with you what I wore, what my sister Brunel wore, and what my sister Coralie wore to this family wedding. So I'll start with Coralie as she was the mother of the bride. And I was so delighted that she actually wore, so when she was on the channel, the favorite fragrance that she smelled out of the 10 that I let her sniff was Camera by Latafa. Now that is an extremely affordable fragrance, such a great fragrance. So I sent her with a, a big, huge sample of it, and that's what she wore to the wedding. And so I was really excited because when I went in to give her a hug, I went, oh, you smell amazing. What are you wearing? And she goes, Camera. So uh, it smelled very sweet. It's It didn't smell too heavy. Uh, very sweet, very luxurious. It smelled very rich. It goes quite, um, like it definitely worked in the heat for her. So it smelled a little bit coconutty almost. So just a beautiful, decadent, rich, uh, kind of bougie smelling fragrance. So she smelled awesome. It went with her outfit that was quite glamorous. So that was really cool. Um, my sister, Brunel, she wore Burberry Her, which is one of her favorites. She got a compliment from one of the family friends uh, who went in for a hug and was just like, oh, you smell great, what is it? And it was Burberry Her. So she loves that one. That one smells very strawberries and cream to me. Uh, a little bit kind of almost like Ariana Grande's cloud in the background of the strawberries and cream uh, fragrance. I like Burberry Her better than Cloud for sure. Uh, but I find Burberry Her just doesn't work on my skin, but most women absolutely love it. Uh, for Brunel, it's one of her favorites and it smells amazing on her. So I was really excited she got a compliment. And then I wore Delina Exclusive. Of course I wore Delina Exclusive. Now, I didn't get any compliments, like not one. So I might not have sprayed enough. I smelled myself. I thought I smelled amazing. Uh, but I also, I also ended up in the kitchen and I literally sweated big time because I was helping out in the kitchen for a while. So maybe I just, it, it, I don't know. I didn't get a compliment. Maybe I didn't spray it off, but yeah, I was compliment less, but I smelled so freaking awesome. So Delina exclusive, uh, it's that rich kind of rose, incensey, smoky, sexy, sultry, uh, deliciousness. I love it. Like I just absolutely love it. Slightly powdery, such a beautiful fragrance. So I just received a new fragrance uh, from Byron Parfums. Now Byron is an amazing perfume house and I like actually almost everything that I have smelt from them, which is all their creations. I pretty much love them all. 
so the one that I got uh, to start with, and these were gifted to me. What I do, I don't want to just take perfumes uh, without sampling them, if at all possible, because I don't want them to, I, I just don't want the waste. So it's a waste for the company, the waste for me. So I prefer that they send me discovery kits first and then they can send me something. And so, uh, yeah, it just, I don't want to waste their resources and I don't want a fragrance in my collection that I can't recommend recommend to you guys. So whenever possible, that's what I do. Uh, so this one is called the Chronic Rouge Extreme. Uh, first of all, I love the red bottle. I love the cap. Like I love everything about the, the presentation on this. I did just recently, I put an Instagram uh, unboxing of this, but just love the packaging on these Byron bottles. Beautiful, heavy. The cap's not magnetic, but the sprayer is just like really nice. Oh, and now it's spraying in my face. I'm just going to go like that. Oh, I smell good. Instantly, I smell amazing. I'm going to read you the notes because I haven't talked about this one before. It starts with raspberry, whipped cream, cantaloupe, and pear in the opening. Yes, please. Like, seriously. The middle is amber, spicy notes, and cinnamon. Again, I love those notes. And the base has sandalwood, white musk, and patchouli. Um, what I get mainly is the raspberries, but to me, it just smells like berries. It doesn't smell specifically like raspberry. It, to me, it almost smells more strawberry, maybe because of the melon that's in there. But anyway, kind of a sweet, sweet berries and whipped cream. And that's basically what I get the whole time. I don't really notice the cinnamon. I don't notice the sandalwood. It stays top heavy the whole entire wear of the fragrance. Um, I find that this stays on the skin for quite a while, so I can smell it for quite some time. Um, as it dries down, it gets more powdery. I saw on Fragrantica, someone said, this is what I wished Oriana would have been. So if you have tried like Oriana, Love Don't Be Shy, and you don't like the Neroli or blossom aspect. Uh, this is more uh, the gourmand aspects of a fragrance of that nature. So kind of powdery, almost marshmallow-esque, uh, whipped cream, uh, decadent, d juicy deliciousness. Uh, the, 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 the fruit is very sweet um, and very soft feeling. So it feels kind of fluffy, almost like an ambrosia feel is what I would say this is like. Now, I don't find this to be overly long lasting, uh, better to pair it with a, um, better to pair it with a lotion, but if you spray it on your clothes, you definitely get, get, um, you get better longevity, obviously. Uh, so, you know, you're looking at four or five hours with this ish, um, and then it sits, I would say closer to the skin after about the first half an hour, but I just, I just love the smell of it. To me, this is super cozy too, but I say this is better for the spring and summer. So it's gotten cooler. I see this as potentially performing way better, uh, in, in the heat is my guess the heat, or if it was super humid, I can see this one performing really well. On Fragrantica, it, it says it's moderate, but then in the comments, people are like, it only lasts five minutes. So I definitely find it lasts longer than five minutes, but it certainly isn't a heavy hitter. Uh, but I really find it mouthwatering. It reminds me of like, so if you like uh, the Burberry Herline with that strawberries and cream feel, uh, this definitely has that kind of strawberries and cream uh, vibe, uh, but that's primarily what you're getting. You're not getting that cloud aspect or that Baccarat feel at all in the fragrance. This is more just that berries and cream ambrosia type feel. Uh, so fruit in whipped cream is, is the vibe of this. So I really love this one. I think I'll likely put it away like it's new, so I'm having it out for a while. Uh, but likely I'll put it away for the spring and summer next year, but it's so beautiful. And then Hesse just bought Giardini di Toscano fragrance called Bianco Latte. Now this is perfect uh, for the fall and winter. It smells so delicious. It reminds me of something, but I can't figure out what it is. When you put it on the skin, there's a powdery quality to this. Smells a little bit like caramel, sweet, vanillic 
a uh, little bit of honey, but not honey. Like, you know, so honey is like quite animalic. You get more of that caramel and vanilla, but it feels really powdered. It's so, so delicious and intoxicating. This one is definitely long lasting. So the notes are caramel in the middle. It has honey and coumarin and the base has vanilla and musk. So that's all that there is. So definitely the gourmand feel. Some people say they notice the coumarin in this. I'm not sure I know what coumarin smells like. So I need to smell coumarin, but... To me, it just smells decadent, delicious. It is powdery and strong, and it kind of reminds me of Mansara or Montel fragrances where you spray it and you go, <coughs> like it gives you that kind of response off the bat because it's just so potent. Uh, but this one is just beautiful for fall and winter and you don't need much. Like this is a, a good powerhouse. I'm not sure, like I can't speak to to how much it projects or anything like that at this point. Uh, but definitely, I really enjoyed smelling this. This is going on my wish list for sure. The only other thing that I'll say is if you by any chance have seen these scratches, um, I ended up, I was on a walk. I was walking my dog uh, the other morning and I found a baby kitten that was like really, really skinny and wet and shaking and like not doing well. So I ended up taking it home, tried to get a hold of the owners of the house that it was near. Uh, when I did, I found out they didn't have cats and there was one other one that was there. So they must have been abandoned. Maybe not. I, I don't know. The one was a little bit more robust, but this one was really, really skinny. So I ended up taking them home and I've been nursing them over the weekend, like literally putting kitten, uh, kitten formula into their mouths with a dropper. I tried, like I got a bottle with a, a little nipple, but they didn't want to take that. They're about like three and a half, four weeks old. So they're so tiny. Uh, but thankfully, since I've had them, the, the skinny one has gained two ounces. So it's been gobbling up the formula, which is great. So anyway, I am literally covered in scratches because their nails are just so um uh, so sharp so i'm not keeping them but i called a vet hospital and an e one of the er nurses is uh nice enough she's going to take them and continue to look after them so i have to get them through the weekend so it's been insane with these little kittens like they take it's like being a new mom all over again <laughs> anyway they're super cute oh i'll put a little clip on there so that you get to see how darling they are And amazingly, my dog, which is a Schnauzer Poodle Cross, it's just a miniature, um, it's been very, very gentle. And the one little more robust kitten has fallen in love with the dog and the dog loves it. Uh, so they get along great and it's been okay, uh, but it's been a little bit scary. It's like having a toddler with newborns. <laughs> So it's been a crazy week, but those are the fragrances that I wanted to share with you. They were all amazing. Like all of them are amazing. And it was so neat to, to be able to interact with my sisters and see what they're wearing uh, to special occasions and thought I'd share it with you. So that is it. What about you? What would you wear if you were going to a family wedding? What would you put on? I would love to know. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.